What's up guys, my name is Deft and welcome back to some more Dark Souls 2 And, well, we got this guy here, I'll talk to him, but I better be quick Cause this is dangerous in here Anyway, this guy is the, uh, the bell keeper Or the leader of the bell keepers And, uh, by talking to him, you can join the bell keeper covenant Where you guard the bells, there are two in this game Which are entirely optional areas This is the first one the second one doesn't have a boss but this one does and that's why we're here even though i could go through that i i don't think i went through the other one but uh we can do that after maybe we'll hit up both the bells we'll see how long this takes anyway he just gives us his sort of backstory and then um anyway now now i don't know if i want to join the bell keepers or not because you can join them it, it's sort of like, you know, join them or be killed by them. But the thing is, bell keepers can still invade other bell keepers. Um, I think that only joining them decreases your chances. I don't know, we're going to join anyway. But, uh, you can still be invaded as a bell keeper. And I'm going to, I'm at least going to join the bell keepers to lower my chances of being invaded. So they'll be too distracted killing other people and if you notice I, 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 po I looked at that uh, doorway a couple times and the reason I did that is because if a fog wall appears a dark fog wall then that means I'm being invaded and so it'll give me a little heads up but luckily I'm the host meaning I can heal but I'm probably not gonna cuz I'm I'm respectable like that I'm a nice guy I'm I'm not a douche. Trust me, I've freaking... I mean, it's so satisfying to kill someone who heals. I've killed a couple... I've killed a number of people who've healed loads of times. And it's very... It's just very annoying. But uh, it certainly shows your level of skill that you can basically kill them several times over and still win. So it definitely feels good. And so I don't necessarily believe that... You should just not be allowed to, to PvP if if you heal, cause eh. yeah, it's a little rude, but feels good to smack rude people. Now these guys, luckily, I've got some pretty heavy armor, cause they can hit pretty hard. But these are the bell keepers. Those are the sort of phantoms they are. Now I think there's one guy who he doesn't come out when I ring the bell. Huh? Thought he'd be guarding the bell. But, uh, yeah, there's an item around one of these corners, as well as, yeah, a baddie around one. Here he is. Bada bang, bada boom. Let me through. And here's the item. Now, if you can hear that right now, that is the sound of a gate being raised up. Now, that right there rings the bell, which is up. Eh, I'll climb up to show the bell. There it is. There it is. Pulling that lever rings the bell and opens the gate. In uh, the other area, it just opens the gate so you can get out. But here it opens the gate to a fog wall. Now, I'm on a life gem. Even though I've got oodles of Estus, but that's okay. Let's see if we got anything to make this easier. Because this is one of my least favorite boss fights. Well, what are my faith and intelligence? Uh, eight faith, six intelligence. Uh, my bonuses, it seems like fire or dark would help. I feel like these guys might be weak to lightning because they fly, but... I don't know. I'll go with what I have um, a larger bonus in. So let's go with dark. Anyway, let's go. This is a bit of a uh, a rehash. If you played Dark Souls 1, I believe the, um, the music is the same. However, the enemies are a little different. Ugh. Yeah, this is annoying. I just remember that one of my first times around, I haven't, they haven't given me too much trouble since but my first run or two at least my first time for sure they really irritated me because i mean they you face up to three at a time and it's just very very painful now i'd like to get a little bit of a heal here so i'm gonna try and do what i did there go all the way to that side and then all the way to this side try and get as much distance as possible yeah, it's tough. It's they're sort of like the Ruin Sentinels, only they can breathe fire. 
Luckily, they don't do as much damage. At least not at the point where you usually fight them. But I think they still have less damage overall. Anyway, they also have a lightning attack, but I rarely see it. Oh, there's the fire. So I'm to back up. Luckily, I've got loads of stability on this shield, and I can just block their hits. And just get one or two hits. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Okay. You... I don't know. I can't see your health. There's your health. You have full health. My dark wore off. That's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna take my time. Even though I would like... I'd like to get bold bells. In one episode. Oh, no. We're, we're dying. We're in trouble. Let's heal, though. Thank you, fire. For not being so close. There's four at once? I've never faced four at once. Oh, my God. Let's kill this one. Get out of here. Hey, those guys are like two in one hit. Maybe a strong attack, but a guy with slightly less health. Ow! Rude! Okay, hit me. Or fly. That's cool, too. Oh, God. Nothing. Four of them again! I said they'll come at you up to three because I've never had four at once, and here I am dealing with four at once. Come here. Yes! Oh, he was going for the lightning. Now, if only if you use their soul for that uh, bident they have. I don't remember what weapon class it is. I feel like it's just a, a spear or something. But uh, if only it had a lightning attack, that'd be cool. Otherwise, it's, I mean, it's pretty bland. But it doesn't have a special attack. It just, Oh, jeez. More fire. And it's got some range to it. Okay, let's freaking do a little side shuffle to get some distance and attack the first one that gets close to us. Oh man, I thought that he'd, uh, you know, recover sooner and be able to attack me. I was waiting for an attack so I could get a proper counter. Ooh, let's finish you off. Okay, down to two. This has been a long fight, and I've healed a couple times. Jeez! I hate them. They were my least favorite boss fight for a while. They might still be. I don't. I can't think of a boss that I that I really just dislike. I mean, there's some. There there's certainly some that are more challenging than this one, but this one is just irritating. I'm trying to think. I don't know. Maybe maybe the Looking Glass Knight. I really don't like the Looking Glass Knight. And we'll be coming up on him eventually. He's the... N we have two more bosses. Once we get back on track. Once we finish off the optional bosses. Oh, jeez. I did do the, the, the rat special. I took out the royal rat bosses. So they're out of the way. So I believe there's might just be two left. Being these guys. And um, Executioner's Chariot. Oh, you're almost dead. I was about to say, please hit me and don't breathe your fire. All right. And just like that, that was almost the entire episode. But luckily, there's a little bit more we can do to round this one off. And hopefully... Hopefully... It all goes well. It's gone well thus far. I don't want to jinx anything, but I am uploading as I'm recording this. Maybe that's why I didn't get invaded. I was actually kind of hoping that that might help being uploading. That'll cause anyone who wants to invade me to just lag. And I mean, I, I'd rather not be uploading right now, but I couldn't this morning because I woke up late and had to get to work ASAP so I couldn't upload. I would have uploaded the night before, but I didn't have the video edited by then. And I wanted to get to bed early because I had to get up early. And just a series of unfortunate events led to where I am now. But luckily, I am okay. We got all these freaking undead hounds and this guy who invades you, who I've never had trouble with. He's pretty easy peasy. We got another freaking dog. Get out of here. Give me, let me, me and Vorg will have a little one on one here. Oh, he's going down real soon. I'll probably make him bleed. He's got enough health for that. Oh, you're about one shot. Come here. And... 
Boom. See ya. All right, so the name of soldier. Soul of a lost undead. Let's go up top first. We have the enchanted falchion. Now, I honestly don't know what enchanted does. I think it ups your magic scaling, which is weird. We got Bastille Key. Without adding any mag magic damage, by the way. Like, let's, let's look at it now. Yeah, see, I now this weapon has a descaling in magic at the cost of the scaling of strength and dex. But it doesn't add any magic damage, so I don't get it. Maybe if, I, if you have a weapon that does elemental damage naturally and you want, and, and that'll upgrade its scaling better than, you know, infusing it with that element, I don't know. I don't understand the point of enchanting. Maybe someone can explain it to me. But I don't know. Anyway, we got some souls. I wonder how many... That's uh, two level ups right there. I'll use those between now and the next episode. And uh, let's see where I'm going to go next. I'm thinking Executioner's Chariot. Yeah, I don't even have the other bell tower, which is the Iron Keep. A little hint as to where we'll be going, I guess, before we head on to the castle. Because I want to sort of round things off, covering all the other areas. So, Executioner's Chariot is in Huntsman's Cops. So we'll be heading there in the next episode after I spend my souls here in Majula. But, um, for now, I'm going to bid you guys adieu and say that I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 2. And I hope you'll be joining me next time. But until then, I'll be seeing you guys later. I'm out.